When did you feel comfortable on the mic? Straight off the bat. Yeah, pretty much in instantly. All the time. Just straight away. Hearing my voice was like hearing angels sing. Um, I had like a weird uh, um, weird moment like listening back to podcasts. At first I was like, huh, I'm in this. This is kind of weird. But actually recording it, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that's, that took longer to get used to than actually talking. Listening back to yourself. But at went, this point, I'm like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that no. sound good. I went Angel about singing. 18 months without listening to a single episode. Really? Yep. Podcasts will live and die by the quality of the content. So just because it's got a big brand on it, you could take any supersized brand and say, you know, we're going to do a podcast. If the content at the end of the day is not interesting and it's not well put together or it's not got interesting guests or interesting um, opinions and facts, then it won't survive. You know, I think the reason that I enjoy creating podcasts so much is just the fact that you've kind of got your own freedom. It's not it's not anyone else telling you what you can or can't do. It's your platform, it's your show. You can do exactly what you believe your audience wants. And you can listen to that audience and they can tell you and they can talk to you. So you can really start to tailor things. I think that's the real benefit of the medium is you can just do what you enjoy doing. And that's obviously that's why I think everyone enjoys creating them so much.